Hello, Les in Thailand here and today's video is going to be about the sort of dangers of living in the countryside and some extra precautions you've got to take if you're living in the countryside a more rural location should I say than let's say Pattaya or Bangkok and things like that because there are hidden dangers living in the countryside the past couple of days we've had a, a few little incidents around the house and I'd just like to really remind people that if you're living in the countryside take a little bit more care it's like last night when we were locking making sure all the doors were locked we seen a, a scorpion inside the house now a scorpion inside the house you know if you, you're walking around the house in bare feet so you can be you can be stung by a scorpion and it's although very few people have died by scorpion stings here in Thailand it's very very painful I know a lady who got stung in the arm by a scorpion because she put her hand on the gate and there was a gate there was a scorpion on the gate so yeah scorpions little snakes usually the doors aren't fitted very very well around the houses in Thailand so there's always like a little gap at the bottom of the door and the snakes and scorpions and creepy crawlies and cockroaches and god knows what come through the the little cracks underneath the bottom of the door so what we we do and what i advise everybody else to do is put draft sealers draft sealer brushes on the bottoms of the doors and i'll put a photograph of here of our back door we've got one on the front of the door and one on the back of the door so it, it makes doubly sure that nothing can get through the the gap underneath the door but yesterday there was a, a scorpion halfway underneath the door when we went to lock the doors up last night before I went to bed there was a pair of pincers of the scorpion so we m maybe just closed the door and never noticed that it was actually near the door I don't know it's impossible for it to get through the brushes but there it was a scorpion halfway through the bottom of the door so the little snake that got into the house we had um again this, this was before we put the draft excluders on the bottom of the door and it was a, a tree snake so pretty harmless really but you, you treat every snake over here as dangerous because there's there's some really nasty bites and you can die with the cobras and things like that um so you take extra precautions if you've got stuff around the house like we, we've got bags of soil for when we do our gardening again just be very very careful when you're moving the bags of soil because it's a good hiding place for snakes or scorpions or creepy crawlies um, so you just take a little bit more care if you've got all plant pots or all bits of uh, rubbish in the corner poke it with a stick first before you move it because again it's another little hidey hole for the snakes who want to get out of the, the way of everything uh, leaves all over the all over the garden long grass all are good hiding places for snakes so we keep our grass very very short thankfully we have a gardener who comes around and keeps all our bushes trimmed and our grass short but we've still seen snakes in the garden they're after the lizards that are around the gardens and things like that um, we also have low windows on one side of our house so it's just the right height for a snake to pop in because it's you know it's just a level that a snake could just pop its head around and um, pop in so we have meshes over the, over the windows when we have our windows open we have window meshes which close and so nothing can get in so it's just precautions that you've got to do in the bedroom on an evening time as well we, we shut our bedroom door and we have a draft excluder at the bottom of our bedroom door also so if there's anything creeping and crawling around during the night that we've missed they can't you can't get into the bedroom but sometimes even even though we take them precautions we've seen some really creepy crawly nasty things creeping around in the bedroom how they've got in there we have no idea but we take as much care as we can also by having the draft excluder on the door in the bedroom when you put your air conditioning on at night half your air conditioning doesn't go out through the crack at the bottom of the door so that helps to save money as well so that's just a few little precautions with regard to living safely in the countryside and the creepy crawlies and the snakes and the scorpions that are walking around naturally 
you've just got to take a little bit of extra care and make sure that you're safe in your house on the evening time so no creepy crawlies or nasties coming to your house so hope it was helpful if you like it give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down leave your comments down below if anything's happened to you or if you had any good or bad experiences with snakes or creepy crawlies in your house i'm sure everybody else would like to know as well subscribe to the channel would be very nice so from les living the dream in thailand till the next video bye for now